What kind of changes are we going to see with the 2022 MacBook Air? And should you wait to buy one? Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here and you can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. Apple last refreshed the MacBook Air in November of 2020. It's now been more than a year since we've seen a MacBook Air refresh. But when do we expect to see a new MacBook Air? And what changes are in store? That's what we're going to talk to you about in this video. Let's start off with the design of the new machines. Apple is going to continue with its current design trends. And by that, I mean a more modern, squared off, flat design versus the tapered or curved designs that we saw before. All of Apple's latest products have been following this design aesthetic. We've seen it with the recent iPhones. We've seen it with iPad Air and iPad Pros. We've even seen it with the latest generation 24 inch iMac and the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros. They all have this much more squared off flat design. This is my 14 inch iMac here, flat top, flat bottom, flat sides with more subtle curves just around the edges. This is kind of what we're going to see on the new generation MacBook Air, but it won't be as thick as the current 14 inch MacBook Pro is. So it's going to have a flat design all the way across, won't be tapered any longer, and look like a smaller, thinner MacBook Pro. On top of that, it's also been reported that Apple's going to bring a fun new color scheme to the MacBook Air. With a 24 inch iMac and the iPad Air, Apple has introduced a bunch of new anodized aluminum colors, and it makes sense that Apple will do the same thing on this refreshed MacBook Air. Reports say that the new MacBook Air will include the same 1080p FaceTime camera that we saw on the recent generation 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros. On top of that, Apple will be putting a white bezel around the screen rather than the black one they have now. That way it kind of looks more like the 24 inch iMac versus the existing MacBook Air or even the existing MacBook Pros. There are conflicting reports though on whether or not the MacBook Air will get the notch the same way that these 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros do. It'll look a little bit weirder when there's a white bezel with a black notch, so Apple may choose just to leave a larger bezel around the screen and keep the aspect ratio and pixel resolution the same. As for ports, Apple will not be bringing HDMI or SD card readers back to the MacBook Air. Instead, it'll still have multiple USB-C ports, but it will gain a new MagSafe 3 port, just as we saw with the 14 and 16 inch MacBook Pros. For the internals, Apple is going to be using the M2 processor. This will be Apple's first full successor to the M1 processor. The M2 processor will retain the same number of cores for the CPU, so it'll still be an eight core CPU, but it will increase the cores for the GPU to nine or 10, up from seven or eight, as we have now. Additionally, the clock speed on those CPU cores will be faster. So it's going to be an evolution and improved version of the M1, faster clock speeds, additional GPU cores, but it's not going to be nearly as powerful or fast as the M1 Pro or M1 Max processors. The M1 Pro and M1 Max have either eight or 10 core CPUs and can have a 14 all the way up to a 32 core GPU on the inside. So when are we gonna see the new MacBook Air and should you wait or just buy one now? Well, I'd say we're about two thirds or more way through this product cycle. We may not see the new MacBook Air until the end of Q1 to Q2 of 2022, which could put it as late as, you know, August maybe, maybe even September. So it could get pretty late into the year, but we've also heard rumors that it'd come in the first half of 2022. So I would say as a safe bet, if you need a computer in less than six months, you can pick up the MacBook Air safely now. I also don't think there's a huge difference between the two generations. A lot of it's going to be aesthetic and it's gonna be a nice new redesign with fun colors, but that's not gonna change the computer all that much. So they're gonna have USB-C, but now you have MagSafe. There's the new colors and white bezels and improved camera, but those are not huge differences. And it's still only an eight core CPU just with faster clock speeds. And the M1 is already a great chip. So not a big difference, at least in these early uh, assumptions, on what this new machine is going to look like. That said, if you can wait at least that six months, hold off for the new MacBook Air. It sounds like it's going to be really nice to have. This is the first big redesign we've had in nearly a decade. And I'm sure a lot of people will be excited just for that alone. But if you get the other improvements, such as the 
faster CPU, additional GPU cores, MagSafe 3, better cameras. Why not wait it out just a little bit longer? Let me know what you guys think. Are you gonna hold off for the new MacBook Air or are you snagging one now while well, they've got them on sales before the holidays? If you do wanna grab an existing MacBook Air, I've got links and deals down below in the description. Otherwise, I'll catch you on the next video.